come in here, I'm going to roll a video um, from the channel that goes over how to lay out the pinch seam. So you get that going here real quick. Let's start by dropping in our center line. Drawing in our wall abutment line. I just wanted to play this video. Um, let me know if you can hear. I think so. Mark, this is. Sorry guys, I just wanted to play a video of the pinch seam layout. Um, we're just gonna watch that quick while people start to come in, um, see a few of you in here. Uh, leave a comment wherever you're watching from. I'll, uh, I'll be answering them, just getting a few things set up. But um, what, have, a, have a watch of this video for, uh, for the layout. Center. Okay, now I'm going to mark in my seam allowances for both female and male. And in this one, we're going to focus on the one inch seam. But this method can be used for um, both one inch and inch and a half seams. Okay, let's draw in our seam lines, lining up with each one of those. Now that we have everything marked, let's draw in our, our female and our male markings. So now what we have to do is we have to bring in our roof pitch. So this is the front of the chimney and this is the angle of the roof going down. I'm gonna lay the front of the chimney on the upper part of the, the layout and just draw in my roof angle coming right off this cross line here down. Again, for anyone just joining, and we're just same with the other side. Brush up on the layout. Then uh, once this video is over, we'll go to um, we'll go to the bench. We'll also answer some questions. Next, we're going to have to bisect these lines, so one inch off this line. And then one inch off this you line, any questions, uh, please actually right here in the chat. Same with this one. And off here as well. Like so. So where these two intersect is what we call a bisecting line. And now we're going to draw line going right through that intersecting line to the center line. Same as over here. Always stopping at the center line. Okay, so one of the essential rules to this layout is what I'm going to draw in right now. It's uh, to allow for the fabrication side of things, uh, different th thicknesses of metal and so on and so forth. But for the male, we go up one eighth of an inch. For the female, we go down one eighth of an inch. What does this mean? So if we look at this area right here where these two bisecting lines are offset from each other, what I'm gonna do is with the female, I'm gonna go down one eighth of an inch here and up one eighth of an inch for the male, which is almost like it's meeting in the middle. But this, this may change with different uh, pitches of roof. It just so happens it works out that it's in the middle. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect a new line uh, to that 
one eighth uh, adjustment. And that becomes our actual fabrication line for this layout. Okay. Okay. This is our actual fabrication line. Here was a theoretical bisecting line. And now below we have a fabrication bisecting line. Very important step in this layout. We're gonna grab a piece of steel here. Okay, guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's a uh, little, little before we get started here, today is pretty, uh, pretty significant. Uh, ASM 101 is, uh, sorry, the shop has, uh, has had internet installed. And um, so we, we have internet, we can go live right from the shop. This is, uh, this is a big deal. Uh, I can do live webinars from here. I can offer uh, live virtual training to any of the business owners out there. Anyways, it's just, it's a big deal. And I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, today's, today's video or today's, uh, today's workshop is we're going to be focusing on the pinch seam. Uh, I left in the comments uh, down here or over here, wherever you're watching from, um, I left in the comments a link to that pinch seam video, layout video that you just saw. Um, but also I left a link to a video where uh, we did paper folding practice uh, out of the, out, straight out of the book. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm live, I'm, I'm doing this. Uh, nerves are high, so bear with me. Uh, it's kind of the first time I've ever done something like this. Um, so again, it's, it's different when you show people how to do things, especially live. So, and especially virtual, right? There's, there's nobody in here. There's, it's, uh, it's just me and a camera. So let's, uh, let's head over to the bench and, uh, I want to show you a couple things over there and then, uh, and then we can get to the, we can get to the, uh, to the, to the chimney. Uh, mock up here. All right, let's head over to the bench. Can uh, also one other thing, can everyone hear me okay? Anywho, okay, so let's get over to the bench. I just uh, what I did was I laid this out here. Okay, so I did my layout, which then I'm able to get this, uh, this jig right here. So we have a, an A12 male and female that we use to transfer to the panel. So what I'm doing when I practice is I just get a panel about eight inches long, or sorry, uh, 18 inches long or whatever doesn't just really know as long as I have enough going like I have a I have a line here okay so that's that line represents the the fit the the transition from roof to chimney so that line represents that and as long as you have you know say eight inches going up the face of the chimney and eight inches coming down the roof you can as long as you have a long enough piece to do that, you're good. Uh, so what I do when I'm practicing these is I, I just take a panel like this, just one panel, draw a line, you can see that, draw a line, just doesn't really matter, it can be anywhere, draw a line down the center. So, whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And then I just cut it in half. This is all I do. Okay, so what we have now is, uh, is two pieces. 
that can get seamed together like that. Okay? So once we have that, once we have this and we have our, our jig, we can head to, uh, well, actually what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll do some stuff here on the bench first before we go over to the, to the chimney. So... Guys, it's just been crazy here. Who we got? Sounds good, Alex. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Curtis. Appreciate that. You should practice with full panels. Yeah. No, I get it. Um, so sorry, guys. I'll put myself on camera here for just one second. Um, uh, guys, if if no one has uh, has heard of Curtis before. Um, yeah, he's a great guy for, for information. Uh, don't don't be shy. Reach out. He's he's in all of the all of the threads as well. So he's a good guy for or, or don't. Okay. Okay. Don't reach out to him. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, let's. Um, uh, I'm just gonna grab a couple things here, and we'll go back to the bench. So give me one second. Let's click back over. Not for hire. Okay, everyone. Curtis Horde is not for hire. Okay, do not do not contact him. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna grab a couple things here. Oh yeah, I got a I got a cool tool I want to show you guys too. All right, let's go back over here. Did I bring it? This is pretty cool too. Hopefully it doesn't roll off the bench. Okay, so we have our center line on the back like I showed you. Right there. We got it on both pieces. Okay, we got it on both pieces. Okay, so right where that's that line comes, I'm just going to extend it up right there. just so I know where to put my folders roughly. Okay, unbend this. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Hold on, Let me get one more thing here. La -di -di -oh. You're doing this bless up right now. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Curtis. I appreciate it. Okay, so what I was saying was I'm just gonna extend this this line up right there. Take my I got these cool little notchers. That uh, so right in line with the with the line that I made. Sorry, I'm making it wiggle. Just gonna notch out the female side, like so. Okay, gets notched. Same as on, same as on this side. Notch that. If someone was asking me about these notches, they're uh, starting to get dull. Not really, not really over the moon about them. You know what? Instead of that, you can always just pick up. Uh, your snips and and just notch them. Nothing wrong with doing that. Slick tool, yeah. Yeah, it's a slick tool, but it's getting dull. You know, I'm not really not over the moon about the fact that it's getting dull. But yeah, you can just you just snip these like like not everyone's gonna have those notchers. 
but don't go too crazy on the angle. It just has to be a slight angle. Just a slight, slight angle. All right. Okay, now once you have that, what we're going to do is straighten all this out. What I remember. I'm shaking it. Okay. Just gonna flatten out the, the top part. So the what goes up the face. Is everyone following this? Hopefully, because I can't see anyone's comments right now. Okay, so we have the male folded up. Female folded up. This can actually be, this doesn't have to be like that. You can just fold that down. Okay. And so on the, like uh, that jig that I was showing you how to make with the intro video. What we're gonna do is along this flat part, that female, we just draw on that line there. Like so. Okay, and then we flip to get the the male in. Yeah. Line that up with the like so. Okay, so now, now let's, uh, before we go anywhere, I'm just gonna draw the, draw a line going across, same as here. Line going across. And get a, One thing I like to do is here, take a piece of EPDM rubber, put it on the ground or on the bench, whatever. It's, then I take my, uh, we call it the, the bureau, bureau pro profiler. It's nice, you can just put a crease in it. Two handles, you can put a crease in it. And that, that EPDM rubber underneath provides a bit of cushion. But you can do here, let's just do it a different way. Uh, get my, it just really needs a, an edge. Take a chisel or whatever. Getting jiggy with it. Yeah, brother. Important for materials like copper where you, have to scribe, you need a hard edge. Yeah, okay. So, how's everyone doing so far? You can all, all following along? Okay. So, instead of having the cool tool, maybe you don't have one of these. Maybe you have, uh, just had a, if you got a spade chisel, a lot of guys carry one of those. Grab your needle nose. Okay. Okay, got a pair of these, even a pair of needle nose, just normal needle nose will work. And on that line, just gonna take it and twist it on that line. Okay. Put the chisel there and just start the crease. And 
that. And a little more. Okay, so you can see how it gets a little twisted. The reason for that is it's an important part of the doing a see how I'm crushing this over? That'll straighten back out your seam. See how it's all straight again? Before it was, when I twisted, everything was all twisted. Okay, so important part is squishing that over, getting it roughly like that. We'll do the same over here. I really do, like, can maybe do a little, show you a, another way to do it. Um, should have a small crimping tool nearby here. Yeah. Okay, sorry guys. Sorry guys. This one's pretty cool. You got a, it's called a small crimping tool. You can get that in there, crimp it. Uh, just sometimes it's a little too sharp, but if you got one, it's pretty cool. I just, with, with painted products, especially steel, I don't really, here, I'm gonna flatten that over again. Again, very important part of the pinch seam. So what we have, okay, so just to kind of recap, this line, sorry, let me zoom in here. This, this crease here, right here, that was from the jig, go like this, okay, and so you can see the beginnings of it, okay. So now that we have this, so imagine, here, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the, to the uh, desk camera here. So here we have, yeah, Jig, yeah, Kurt here. See, this is what I mean. Curtis, Curtis and me kind of, well, we would get along, I think. Because um, the Jig, yes, super good for repetition and uh, maintaining quality. And, you, you know, if you want to, you know, increase efficiency, you can make a Jig for every slope, right? You can make a... You can do that layout for every single slope for different seam heights. If you do inch and a half, or if you do both, you can do one for inch, one for inch and a half. But anyway, so we have here is a failure to communicate. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So we have, this is the, the beginning of the, the pinch seam. Now I just left the bench. Okay. So, these, this, oops, sorry, this is the stage I would get it to, um, and, I, and I would get all the panels to. Let's say you have a pretty long, you know, dormer face that you're doing. You would get all the panels to this stage and, uh, and send them up the roof. Okay, and at this point, one thing I want to point out as well is the fact that I have not trimmed out anything on the roof yet. A lot of guys will, you know, do Z closure, the J trim style. They'll have, they'll do some trimming uh, or nothing's happened yet on the roof. Other than I got, I went up and got my, uh, went and got my pitch, right? So here we are, we're, we're getting up on the roof. Let's head to the, let's head to the, uh, the chimney here. Let's see it. All right. I'm just going to grab a couple of screws here. Do I have any? Man, I'll tell you this. Uh, this live, this whole live thing is pretty, can be pretty stressful. I will. I will say. Okay, so 
what we're gonna do is just on the on the roof like that. Okay. You guys can see it pretty good there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, and just wanna get that. If I can move you guys in a little bit closer. Uh oh, I don't think so. My cord doesn't reach very far. I know I can zoom in. Okay, so anyway, you guys get it. So let's get this. Okay. Get that right in. All right. Okay. Just like you do it on the roof, right through the panel. Just kidding. Um, let me guys know, is this, a, is this a good time for like a live free webinar? Is this a, is this a good time? Yeah, I was, you know what, Curtis, the thing is, is I was, I did practice. I did practice. I don't know what it is. It's just the nerves get to you. Uh-oh, should have put my, should have put the meal in first. Anyways. Okay. Nice thing about the live. What I'm trying to do is make it make it so some of these oh here you know what some of these uh, simpler tasks can be done. Let me see here. I'm just gonna do one thing back. This okay. There we go. Maybe that's a better maybe that's a better shot. Let's let's try this. What do you guys think about this? Yeah, everyone's working except me. Yeah. That's I, I was I was get I was feeling that. I mean there's I mean I'm I'm showing like ten people on this live right now watching, but okay, so here's the here's the pinch seam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, multi uh sorry, multi multi cam is uh is definitely a different beast when it comes to the technology. Do I got everything here? Okay, just grabbing some stuff, guys. Give me a little bit of uh, grace here. I've uh, I've never done this yet, this live stuff, live webinar stuff yet. But okay, so here we go. We're here next. So you're on the roof, okay? You're um, let's see here. Sorry, guys. I'm also a bit of a perfectionist, so I want to explain some stuff. So you're on the roof, okay, and just imagine the panels are all installed just like this. You can install all the panels just like this. There's no need to finish this. So let's say you have a more experienced guy on the roof who's maybe in charge of some of the finer details and you have maybe two, three guys who are uh, a, little, a, a little in the beginning of their career, what you can get them to do is you can get them to install all these when, after they're all prepped. You can be on the ground with them, prepping them, and, and, and showing them how to prep it, and then they can go ahead of you and install all of them, and you can come behind them and, and start dialing these in. Just for, because uh, a lot of guys are like, oh man, like this, this stuff takes forever. Oh my God, how, how are we going to, this is never going to catch on and blah, blah, blah. So this is, I mean, I want to, I want to bring that up because 
until you do something, you don't really know what it takes, you know? So you got to, you know, practice these details, see them in action, you know, really just give, give it the, the old uh, college try. So, all right, let's get back to the mock-up here. And I'm just going to... One thing I want to also show you right in here, okay, very important. See right down in there? Now the, That's how we line them up. You have to, sorry, it's not, oh, there it is. It sharpened up there. You see how those two are lined up in the back? That is ideal, okay? So when you're lining the, so when you're done, all of these are straight going across. Aesthetically, it'll look a lot better, okay? That's one thing you want to make sure that are lined up before you start doing anything. Okay, so next, the next thing you do is you seam this, okay? Get that up, okay, right in there. I want to make sure that that is dialed in nicely up inside there. Okay, next thing, next thing you do. Once we have that, this has to be folded over, double folded over before you do anything, okay? Um, to get even farther in there, you can take the needle nose, okay, and get, get right in there. Get that nice and tight. Get that nice and tight right up in there, okay? So next, you do... Uh, I was thinking, just take a quick little, quick little break here. So st show stage one up close. Let's do that. You guys seeing this? Don't be shy. Put something in the. Zoom in. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would mount your roof camera looking up from the eave right at the deck. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Guys, I'm, I'm open to it here. Let's do it. Okay. I had a feeling that this was going to be a thing. So maybe just off to the side. Is that working for you guys? It's, t it's really like having these camera angles is tough, but if you want to see something, I can move cameras. You know what I mean? Yeah, is that looking good, Curtis? Awesome, bro. I uh, appreciate you being here. It's kind of like you're, uh, little, you're like my little assistant. Happy to have you, brother. Okay. Or should I say brother? Happy to have you, brother. Okay. La, di, did I, I did, I did forget it, didn't I? No, I didn't, but I have, I have found it. I found it. There she is. Okay, anyways, next thing we're going to do is we're going to dial, we're going to bring these in. Okay. Instead of that, you know what I forgot? I like to use these. I grab it here and I bring it in. Yeah, grab it here, bring it in. Okay. Close these up a little bit. Okay. Real quick. We got those, those lines I've made from the jig. Okay, I wanna make sure that I'm, I'm fabbing on those lines. Okay. Okay. Close. 
close at close as you can get it. Yeah. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. You know what? I bought this stuff. I might as well use it. I'm getting a big light to to show. Let's see here. Bear with me, y'all. I'm gonna light some shit up here. Okay. Some some stuff up. Oh, I'm gonna get demonetized. Yeah, that's not gonna work that close. Okay. So, how's that? A little bit better if we angle it over there. How's that? They have a camera holder at Michael's that will clip to the plywood. Yeah, I got, I got, I got a bunch of that stuff. You know, I'm just trying to. Okay, so I'll bring these around. Okay, that's looking good. Ideally, maybe if I can, can I zoom in? You see that? How's that? How's that, buddy? That's perfect. Shows all the edges. Yeah, it's looking pretty, looking pretty crispy, I must say. All right. Looking good. Okay. So that, that line right there, okay. Sorry, my OCD's kicking in. Oh, wrong way. I want to get it centered. There. So right here, right there, is that jig, the, the line we made with the jig. Okay, that angle. Same as on this side. I should have another camera for this. So, but the... I'd like to have a camera, like, right over here. Get over some more. Okay. In in the layout video, I tell you guys about the male up and the female down. That's the golden rule when it comes to the pinch seam, okay? Reason being is what you're about to see. No, no, no. hold on. I'm going to bring you over here. Oh, my God. I got more lights, but here we're just we're we're just we're going. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. okay, so here we have the female, right? You have your block here. Okay, Put the block up against. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to kill it because that line. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm adjusting it so that line is is that so we're actually bending on the line. Very important. Oh boy. Okay. Hold on. See that? See how it's dead center of that. Over here, this loop here, dead center. That's very important. Okay, let me get you centered again. Sorry, guys. Okay, once you have that, and you're keeping an eye on it, and maybe we can, maybe it's better to, to squish it, make a little more control this way. Get right in there. Looking good, looking good. Bring that over, that over here. Okay. Now the whole idea, you got one the things you gotta watch out for. You can pull this off here. The thing you gotta watch out for, you see, you see this brake line here and the top of this. If they're intersecting, 
And this one's like, there, it's a little below, which is good, which was why in the, on the jig, I say female down. Maybe if I have something to point with here. Here we go. Oh, fuck's sake. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Right here, you can see it's just below that, this, the top of this seam. It's just below. That's perfect. That's where, where I say female down. That adjustment brings this brake line just below the top. And when you're, and let's switch over to the male. Opposite is true. And I gotta bring the bring the light back around because we're ghetto up in here. Oh no. Okay, sorry. Same is true over here. You see it? That male is That male is above, it's actually almost intersecting. Oh, this is tough. You guys see that? You see the difference? The male is up. It's not right in line with, it's not right in line with the other seam, it's up. So that's the male up. Okay, that's what I wanted to really sh hone in on for you. Because when you're doing the pinch seam, it's very important. Uh, if you want the the a, a, like a sick end result, sorry guys, and this if you get if you get motion sickness, probably not a great live stream to be on. But all right, so let's zoom out just a bit. Okay, we'll get it right there. Okay. Ideally, I'm going to I'm going to be getting more cameras. Okay. And a better in a in a crazy system cuz like like Curtis was saying it's pretty involved to get all these cameras going it's true. Okay, so now it, now that I have that information like I was showing you, now we can crush it. Okay. Uh, over. Take my seaming block. And just start turning it over. We got, sorry y'all, okay, you can see how that seam is buried up into the female, you seeing that? Okay, yeah, I, mean, I am solo, Curtis, I am very solo up in here. Okay, so we got, this is important, okay guys, pay attention, because Anyone can fold this over. Anyone can do can can squeeze two pieces of metal together. Okay. To make it look nice really shows shows something. Sets you apart from the rest. The reason why I'm going into great detail here. So, right here, before we fold this over into double fold, this it has to look like this. If it doesn't look like this, do it again. We practice on scrap pieces for this reason so we can get this to get this part 
get this part perfect, okay? So if it looks like this, can everyone see that? So we go, we're grabbing and we're turning, okay? We're grabbing it and we're turning. Now, which side, which side should I show? Maybe, maybe this side. Okay. See how I'm grabbing it? I'm grabbing and I'm turning. You could do this with a with your anvil too, okay? But now that we have this, see how see how this is stretching along the top of that seam. You see how that's just stretching along, okay? Once I got it to this stage, I like to use my hammer at this point. I, or sorry, my anvil, and start dollying it around. Really just making sure that we're on top of there. And as you're hammering, it might come loose on the back. So you gotta squeeze it back. It's actually pretty good. I'm not squeezing it a lot. Okay. Um, The hammer is the way to go. The hammer and the hammer and anvil is the way to go, uh, in my opinion. Sorry for the constant moving, but we're out here. We're doing this thing, okay? Okay, so maybe if I zoom out. Curtis is okay if I zoom out. Or is it not? Maybe if I zoom in. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. The, the sheet metal part I can do at night with my eyes closed, but it's this technology shit that really gets me. Okay, so here, let's go here. So I'm hoping that um, I was exp explain. Oh boy, I don't even know what words are. Um, I hope I explained it well enough that you understand the importance of some of the finer details there. Um, I can take questions if you have any. I'm just gonna. Put some stuff aside here. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the in the uh, comments. More than happy to answer them. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got this all up. Right here. Like that. Anvil work. Talk about pushing in hard with that anvil. Yeah. Yeah, you got to. So, like, 
this is this is some great practice. Okay, this is how this is how you practice um, these details. You can you can just take some scrap metal, just painted steel, whatever you got laying around. Like I like I was saying, we started with a panel, we cut it in half. You end up with a male and female that connect, and when you uh, when you put in the time and the effort to really dial in these. Um, to, to dial in the, uh, the finer details, right? Right here. This, the, for the pinch seam, this is really important. You get, the more you do, um, the cleaner it's going to get. Um, I appreciate you guys hopping on here with me today. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a lot of questions coming in, so that's cool. Uh, if you're on the replay, I'm going to post a video up in this corner right here. Um, it's the, the playlist that continues this process on and on and on. And uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next live. Peace out.